Hi, it's Jad T. Jones. Today we're going to talk about developing trust in yourself as a man because when you trust yourself, you're able to go out and take action. Enough information gathering, you need to get to the point where you trust yourself enough to go out there and talk to the women you want to talk to. So, I'm going to tell you a story about when I was learning how to skydive, which will demonstrate how to trust yourself and the benefits. So in my first skydiving class, uh, there, are, there are eight levels to become, uh, to get to the point where you can jump out of a plane uh, on your own. Be a, there are eight levels to get to the point where you can be a certified skydiver, right? So in level one, the AFF class level one, there was myself as well as two other people, a guy and a girl, right? So we were going through the course, I was having a good time, we went through the whole day. I could tell the guy was a bit tense. The girl was okay. Um, and then it got to the point where, okay, we're gonna, uh, the, the final thing we have to do is we go into a, a harness room, which has the harnesses for the skydiving rigs. And we're gonna practice an emergency procedure. Basically with skydiving, you have a backup parachute. So you have your main parachute and then you have your backup. So we were doing drills where you're pretending the instructor says, okay, um, deploy your, your backup parachute. So there are two handles. One is release the main parachute. And then the second handle is deploy the, the backup parachute, right? So it's boom, boom, done, right? So it was my turn and he said, okay, deploy it. Look down, grab handle, boom, boom. The, the girl, okay, show me what you got. Okay, girl, boom, boom, all right. Then he gets to the guy, emerge, okay, do your emergency procedure. And remember, we're in a room. We're not in the sky, we're in a room, right? I was just like, yeah, okay, you know, cool. And the guy's like, oh, look down, oh, and, oh, oh. and he was just a huge panic, right? And we were in a room, we weren't even doing anything, right? So it caught me off guard. I'm like, whoa, what's, what's even going on, okay? So anyways, I'm like, okay, whatever, this guy's kind of like taking this a bit too seriously maybe. Our training for the day finished and then it came to the point where they said, okay, an hour from now uh, or an hour and a half from now, we're gonna get on the plane and we're gonna do our first jump, okay? So right now go have lunch, meet up at whatever one o'clock, we'll get you suited up and we'll go up. So I went and I had lunch, there's a common cafeteria there and I ordered my favorite meal, which is a nice burger with some fries. So I was sitting there eating my burger and fries. And then the guy and his girlfriend come by. And the guy says, whoa, you're eating that before the jump? And then to me, I'm, I'm, it didn't even occur to me. I'm like, yeah, why wouldn't I? And then I realized he, what he was asking. He's like, wow, I'm so scared that I can't even eat anything or I just have to eat something very small because my stomach is turning because I'm so scared of going on this first jump, okay? Whereas for me, in my mind, I was thinking, I trust myself, I know myself, I did the training, I did well in the class, I trust myself and I, will, I trust that I will do the right thing when we're in the sky, okay? So in the first few stages when you're learning how to skydive, the way it works is you have your own parachute and then you have an, an instructor on your right and an instructor on your left. And when you're up in the plane, what happens is one instructor grabs you from here or from here and from your waist. Another one grabs you here in your waist. So they're both hanging on to you like this. And then we go one, two, three, boom. And we jump out as a unit. So in the sky, you on your first jump, I actually have a video of it. Maybe I'll throw it on here. On, on your first jump, you're in the sky, but the, the, sky, the, the instructors are actually hanging on to you, right? And only when, you know, and then you check your altimeter and only when it's time to deploy the parachute, you do this, they let go, they separate, then you're alone, you reach back, boom, and you're good to go, okay? So basically in free fall, they're hanging on to you the whole time until you pull that chute and then you're good. So we got to, we finished lunch, we went back, we suited up, and then what happened? At the last minute, before we got on the plane, 
the guy's girl, the, the girlfriend, the guy, okay, the girlfriend's guy, the girlfriend's boyfriend backed out. He was too afraid. And so actually what happened was I was suiting up and then I saw her come and her face was sunken down. And she was like, you know, I could, I could tell like she was really disappointed and sad. And then she was suiting up and he was nowhere to be seen. He backed out at the last minute. So I just want you to imagine that. We're talking on this channel, we're talking about being a man, being a warrior, facing your fears, showing up as a man. And this guy came there with his girlfriend and then he was the bitch, he backed out and she went up in that plane and she jumped. I will guarantee you this, she never looked at him the same my bet, if I had to bet money, I'm, I'm sure she never fucked him again and I'm sure they broke up. As a man, you need to trust yourself, okay? You need at some point after you get the information, you have to say, okay, I have enough information because nothing is 100%. You can only have enough information, but then you have to take the leap from information into action. And the gap between knowing something intellectually and doing it, that gap is called trusting yourself. It's called self-trust. You see, the reason why that guy backed out is because he did not trust himself. He did not trust that when he's in the air, he's not going to completely panic, okay? And so that's why he backed out. So what you need to do in your life, right now you're watching this video, you're ingesting information, you have so in this day and age, every single guy who's been on the internet can write a book about how to get women. Okay, you have the information, you have so much information, you, yes you, could write a book and it'll, it'll probably be a very good book, except for the fact that you can't back it up because you didn't take the rec required action, right? So what I'm telling you here in this video today is you've reached the point where you have accumulated enough information. You need to now trust that you know enough, just like at the end of the course, myself and that girl trusted that, okay, we went through the daily course, we know what we need to do, we trust that when we're in the sky falling, we're gonna know what to do and we're gonna handle ourselves. Similarly, you've gotten to the point, you have enough information, you need to now go out, have faith in yourself and trust yourself enough and just go for it, okay? That's how the real world works. You're never gonna get to 100% certainty, okay? You need to just have enough. Do I have enough to work with? Okay, that's enough. Go and take action. So a man trusts himself. You need to start trusting yourself. Now, if you've been struggling for years with self-esteem and being able to trust and believe in yourself, then jump over to jattjones.com. We have events and coaching programs that will help you achieve what you want with women and how to be a powerful man, how to look yourself in the eye and know that you got what it takes. We're here to support you. I have programs specifically designed to support you. So go over to jattjones.com and join us.